Do you get stuck writing chords or creating compelling chord progressions or harmony? Now, I usually preach that gear does not matter, and it doesn't for the most part, but I have to say that this is a game-changing tool. Hey yo, it's Alex from MetaMind Music, and with this channel, it's my mission to help musicians produce themselves by developing their mindset, expanding their creativity, and connecting to their inner artist in a deeper way. So what am I going on about? Well, the name of this tool is called Scalar 2. Let's talk about it. This plugin is a tank. Do you remember when video games used to have cheat codes that you could search up and enter and then instantly beat the level or instantly unlock abilities or just break the game? Well, Scalar 2 is a cheat code for music theory. There you go, I said it. All right, there is no excuse with this tool. You will never, ever, ever, never, ever run out of ideas. How amazing is that? All right, of course, we're talking about Scalar 2 is this amazing plugin that I'm gonna to talk to you about. I'm gonna show you what it can do in all of its glory. All right, this allows you to explore new vibes, new emotions without having to think about theory. And it's also an insanely powerful tool for you to start learning music theory and expanding your knowledge. All right, so first of all, let's take a look around Scalar 2. It has this wonderful interface and it has a keyboard on top as well as a guitar fretboard. So whether you play guitar or keyboards or both, it's got you covered. So if we go back to this keyboard, you'll notice that whatever notes I play on my little keyboard here, uh, they will light up on that keyboard. Good old C major. So beyond how amazing this interface is, let's actually dive into what this thing can do. All right, so number one is it can show you a wide variety of scales and chords as well as play various expressions created by multiple artists in multiple genres. So let me show you a little bit what that's about. So if we go up here and we click scales, you'll notice there's all of these scales that pop up. That's a lot of scales. I guess that's why it's called scalar, scales. Anyway, there's a ridiculous amount of scales here. Most of them I've never heard of, and I probably won't use most of them. But if there's a scale that you know, it's definitely in here. So if we click on one of these scales, let's go ahead and click on the C minor scale. You'll notice that a bunch of chords pop up. And these chords are actually the diatonic triads that you'll find in the C minor scale or whatever scale you click on. These are the C Phrygian triads, right? You can change key up here, right? Let's go to D. So if I go D minor, these are all the D minor diatonic triads. And diatonic triads means basically, as you can see on the screen, let's just go to C major to keep it easy. Okay, C major. All right, so if you look at the top of the screen here, you'll notice that it plays a chord of the root, third, and fifth. And then we're just going up to the next note in the scale. And keep in mind, the C major scale is all the white keys. So we're just going to work with the white keys for now. Uh, the second chord is the next three notes constructed from the notes of that scale. Right? Just going up the scale. So this is super handy to find chords that work well together within a scale, within various scale degrees. So Scalar 2 gives you like a library of all these different scales and all the chords that you'll find within these scales. It's like a library of vibes. All right, so this tool is super powerful. Once you have a scale selected, all of these chords come up and you can go ahead and change the nature of these chords. Your seventh chords, ninth chords, 11th chords, 13th chords, all built off the scale degrees of the scale you have chosen, right? So here's a C major 13. Pretty colorful, right? Let's go to a C7. On top of that, you can play with the voicings. So you can change the voicings of these chords according to different artists. You can change to C only the second scale degree. You can change it to C only the fourth scale degree, whatever you want. All of these different options to find these cool sounding chords. And as you click on them, it's showing them to you how to play them. So if you want to learn, super easy to learn them. And beyond finding scales that you like, you can click this little button over here and go into the circle of fifths. And we won't get into that in this video, but if you just click on any of these keys, 
whether they're minor or major, you'll notice that it comes up with all of these different chords that you can explore with the root of C. All right, I'm a sucker for sus chords. So as you start finding some of these chords that you like, you can take them and drag them into this bottom section, okay, to keep them. As you find chords you like, you can put them in this bottom section and you can save these different chord progressions. All right, so number two, the amazing thing that Scalar can do is detect audio and MIDI and then tell you the chordal and harmonic information of what you give it. So I have this audio loop loaded here. I'm just gonna play it. I'm gonna ask Scalar to detect what's going on with this loop. see the chords that Scalar gave us. Right? Sounds pretty damn spanking on. So just like that, you can analyze any audio, whether it's a pre-recorded loop or whether it's something you recorded, you can analyze what is going on. All right, so I'm just gonna record a couple loops here. So we're going to play that back and see if Scalar can detect it. Click MIDI, press the record button, and let's play this loop. Let's see how accurate it was. So number one, that's exactly what I played. And that's also exactly what I played. Unreal. And alternatively, you can simply go into the chord tab of Scalar and pencil in a chord and it will tell you what chord it is. And other related chords. You can also do this with the guitar neck. So let's go with... major nine super powerful stuff unreal this can help you analyze your own songs your favorite songs or if you're playing around with a certain loop you're not sure what key it's in or what chords are in it you can actually use scalar 2 to analyze it and understand it to a whole other level all right so the third awesome thing that scalar can do is you can perform with ease and utilize all of its built-in sounds. So Scalar has actually all of these built-in awesome sounding sounds. So this is the felt piano. Celestial existence. Detroit. Right, there's some bass sounds here. All right, so next is what I call complete life hack mode all right this is cheating 100 percent, but it's kind of awesome so as you explore scalar and you find chord progressions that you like and you maybe explore some songs you like some artists you like and let's say you find a chord progression you like so let's go songs let's go chill all right so let's say we really liked this chord progression <laughs> pretty spicy, pretty jazzy, what you can do is anywhere that you're at in Scalar, whether you're using this chord progression or chord progression that you've constructed at the bottom here and you hit the sync button at the bottom, what this does is it maps the corresponding chords to the C major scale, so all the white keys on your keyboard. So I can play these chords by simply hitting one key. <laughs> It's a great way to audition the chords that you find. Maybe you like some of these chords, you bring them over. So I like that one. So I wanted that order. Let's go to a different song. So I wanted these 
five chords together, then I could just click this sync key. Now addition those chords with one keystroke. That is cheating, not allowed. Right, just like that, you're a piano genius. See how easy it is to vibe out on stuff and come up with really cool sounding progressions. And beyond that, if that wasn't enough for you, there's this whole perform section that you can create performances based on the chord progressions that you found and let Scalar perform melodies, perform bass lines, perform arpeggios, all kinds of stuff. You can change the swing, you can change the humanized function and really start generating ideas like it's nobody's business, right? Performances, you can go phrases, rhythms, bass. So let's go with some bass. So, as you can see, there's absolutely everything under the sun you would need to come up with ideas to either build ideas off of, which is kind of like the scaffolding technique, right? You set up all these ideas right you generate all these ideas to build ideas upon and then you remove the randomly generated stuff or heck you could create a whole track in a matter of minutes and just start editing it with all of these built-in performances so sky is the limit all right number four is building your own chord progressions and saving them to scalers database all right so as you go about exploring these different artists these different genres these port chord progressions and then you can save these as chords with a z all right and you can create multiple patterns to build out a song so let's say this was your intro i could create a whole other pattern and grab different chords to play with within scalar another super powerful thing that scalar can do which is amazing you can export the midi out of scalar and bring it to any other vst in your daw for way more flexible editing capabilities, right? So I'll show you how to do that real quick. So what you would wanna do is hit MIDI capture and then hit play here. And then stop. Right, and then you're ready to drag it once it's recorded. So I'll just drag this over here and just for fun let's put on a keyboard or something All right so there's the chords that i just recorded with scalar and i brought them back into my daw for maximum flexibility all right and finally number five awesome thing that you can use scalar 2.4 is as a learning tool and this is personally my favorite way to use it because you can learn all of your scales. You can learn chord progressions on both piano and guitar. And I find this really, really useful for guitar to find these chords, right? So if we find, find a sound that's maybe a little bit closer to a guitar, acoustic guitar, right? When you hit a chord, it shows you how it's played on the guitar neck and where all of those notes are found on the fretboard. curious on how to play a chord and want to utilize it in your songwriting on your instrument you can learn all this stuff through scalar heck i could go to a scale let's say i wanted to learn how to play e phrygian you'll notice that all the blue notes that are lit up here are showing me the notes in e phrygian same goes for the piano right so if we wanted to know how to play e dorian you'll notice that all of the notes lit up in blue on the keyboard so I can just follow along and play E Dorian simple as that isn't that amazing and hey if you're just getting started with music production or having trouble finishing projects 
or just would like to learn more about my personal workflow, I've created an easy to follow seven step workflow to help you go from your very first ideas all the way to a finished master while injecting it full of recording and mixing tips that I've learned over the years. It's super handy to have around the studio. So if you're interested, you can download it in the link below. So what do you think? Is Scalar 2 revolutionary and game changing or is it cheating and a crutch? I'd love to know what you think and have a conversation down below in the comments. And that wraps it up for this video. So we'll see you in the next one.